Hello, my Cracker Jacks. Welcome to my Cracker Jack box. Kiki here coming at you with another, hmm, I'm not sure what I'm gonna call this one. I might be calling it a 411. So, or it could be one of my internal struggles. I will decide later. If you are a returning Cracker Jack, much love. And if you're a brand new Cracker Jack, much love to you. Uh, we love everybody here. If you're brand new, if you could hit that subscribe button, maybe put that notification bell to all, I'd appreciate it. I'm a hot mess express. You never know when I'm going to drop a video. I never know when I'm going to drop a video. <laughs> if you want to get into my Cracker Jack box, you can send me your name, your address, and your email to kikiscrackerjackbox at gmail.com or slide into the DMs um, on Instagram, Kiki's Cracker Jack Box. I send out a goodie bag once a month to a lucky Cracker Jack, and next month it could be you. Okay, so I put out an Instagram post today that said, help people, help others, even when you know they can't help you back. And I wanted to kind of elaborate on that a little bit because I did use some hashtags that were pretty... Um, you know, striking, I would say. Um, I put dis have uh, being disabled sucks and disability, people on disabilities or disabilities are not disposable or whatever. I don't even remember at this point. The basis of those comments have been, um, for me, I developed my disability about 2000, it started really getting bad about 2013, 2014 area. And basically I lost absolutely everything that I loved because of my disability. I lost my family, my home, my marriage. I lost my job. I lost friends. I lost my volunteer work. Um, I lost, uh, what else did I lose? My independence totally, some of my dignity because when you're disabled, uh, sometimes you need help and it requires other people to be in your personal space and, and things like that. Uh, so now it is uh, 2022 and things are much worse. Um, I am very challenged mobility wise. I have a hard time getting around. I use a walker and now with my lymphedema, it's getting a little bit worse. So now it's even hard to use the walker. And for me, being a heavier person, I could do a wheelchair, but that's still gonna be hard to get up and out of and things like that. So, I face the future potentially of having to be like in assisted living or something like that. And based on the conditions that I've seen um, in videos and people that have had similar uh, problems, I don't think I'd, I, I think I'd rather not be here than to have to go through that. Uh, it's not at that point yet, but it's, you know, it's a future concern. The other thing is, is that I think people that don't um, know or don't understand mobility challenge people, especially the heavier people, they assume that it's, that you're being lazy, that you're exaggerating things, that, yeah, I know you're disabled, but it's really your fault because, you know, you let yourself get that big or you let yourself go or whatever. Um, and the comments that are directed at people that have disabilities that are of size are just disgusting. Um, the other thing too is that people make assumptions, okay? They do. They make assumptions that if you're a heavier person, um, in general, that you're lazy, you're stinky or smelly, you're... Um, you do it on purpose, you just want attention, you don't want to work, 
you uh, would rather the state take care of you or the federal government or whatever, um, that you don't have any value to offer, that you're a burden, um, you're practically invisible because you don't bring anything to the table. <laughs> and we've lost, or in my case, I lost so much. And then to have those kind of stigmas attached to me, it, it's like another huge loss on top of that. And I am very aware that Things could have gone differently, maybe, if I had um, made some different choices. However, however, I am what I am now. How I got here or whatever is really irrelevant because I am what I am now. So the person I was didn't change as far as my personality, my thought process, my things that I value, my more, none of that changed. The only thing that changed is that I became disabled and I lost my mobility. And I think that it's rather unfair and pretty sad actually that people make judgments about me who don't even know me you don't you don't even know me you just make a judgment because you look at me or um whatever and you feel I have no value now the other thing too is is that I have family that treats me that way okay I'm not going to go into the specifics of who it is but basically asking for help or asking them to get something because of the pain involved in me getting up to try to do it myself or the fact that I have a hard time walking to actually bring things from the kitchen or just just different things like that and then to practically make me f beg for it or just do without is just it's awful it's awful and I debated about even making this video because I know that a lot of people come to YouTube and they want the warm fuzzy. And I like to give the warm fuzzy. I like to be positive. I like to be helpful. Um, I like to lift others up. And I am not just leeching off society or my family or anybody. I'm on disability. I get disability money. I worked many years. I paid into Social Security. I I worked two jobs or I worked overnight or I worked, you know, during the weekend overnight for overtime. I, I did all of these things. I worked my butt off until I was unable to do so. Now I'm trying to manage my life and my situation and my pain level and all that I'm trying to manage so I just wanted to get on here and tell you that people that are disabled are not invisible which I, I'm starting to feel like that Simpsons episode where Homer just fades into the the bush like he's not there anymore I'm starting to feel like that. Now, not my YouTube family. My YouTube family, you are awesome and wonderful. And my friends that I made on YouTube, you are great. I love you guys so much. And honestly, that I think is what has been keeping me going because my every day is very hard. It's very hard. So... That was my point behind the the um, Instagram post was just for everybody to, to you know take a, a step back and imagine being in the place or in the shoes of the person that you are making a judgment about or you're dismissing as having no value because that saying treat others as you would like to be treated 
is very, very true. I never thought I'd be in the situation that I'm in right now. I never thought this would happen. I thought I would be going strong until, you know, I didn't aunt who smoked like a chimney and cussed like a sailor and she lived to be, I don't know, like 90 years old or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, but I thought I was going to be doing that. I thought it was going to be, everything is going to be great. But lately here, it's been hard. The depression, the uh, body aches and pains and things that are just awful. My shoulder hurts so bad right now. I just want to cry. And I have pain in my hip. I mean, it's just ridiculous. When I stand up to walk, it feels like somebody's slicing my, my, just below my buttocks down my left leg. And when I take steps, it feels like they're just continuing to do it. So, and I'm unable to get the pain medicine that I need because, you know, the opioid crisis. So, yeah. Anywho, this is not just a get on gripe video. I just wanted to get on here and just tell everybody kind of what that post meant. And also to remind you to not take for granted the things that you're able to do. I would give anything to be able to stand at the sink and do the dishes or sleep in a regular bed. Get in my car and go for a drive alone, listen to music, whatever. I, I, those things have been stolen from me by my body. And whether you feel I did it to myself or not is really irrelevant because it is what it is. I'm here. I have to deal with it on a regular basis. Every day. Every minute of every day. So, just next time you, you know, see somebody that needs some help, don't just think, well, it, I'll, you know, it's not, I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. I, I don't think they can pay you on Tuesday, but you should still give them a hamburger today. Just saying. Anyway, I, I hope this wasn't too much of a Debbie Downer. I, I really wasn't trying to go there. You guys know that I love you and I appreciate all of the support and the help and the well wishes. And for those of you that are in my situation that are struggling, you're not invisible. You're not lazy. You matter. We matter. Okay? Okay. So, remember guys, Kiki loves you.